G'day Dixon, Dad. Um, people seem to like doing unboxing videos. Just got my coffee here. When they get new parts on YouTube, so. Hmm. I think I should do an unboxing video as well. We have lots of good things today, look. Three boxes. Dixon, you've already got an idea of what's here. Dad, you don't. Okay. Can you guess what's in this one? It's obvious when you actually know exactly what it is. <laughs> it is, let's see, let's open this up. Oh man, I knew this was gonna happen. Hang on. That's easier. it works best. Okay. Oh man. Oh well that first minute's not going to be very interesting is it? Here we are. All right. How about that? Does that help? Can you tell now? is oh man this video is going to be way too long sorry guys feel free to skip ahead excellent here it is, very good. Oh wow, it's not bad at all. Okay, what we have here is our correct um, steering rack. If you remember with the other one, it was a manual rack for a non-hikers, which means that it didn't have any variable power steering. You can see that solenoid there. That's what uh, controls that. Um, so more assistance at uh, uh, at low speeds and less assistance at high speeds. So I got this one because it looked to me as though it might be in pretty decent nick. Um, I'll look at it a bit closer and um, I mean with some luck it looks pretty clean. So yeah, um, the main thing that I was looking for was looking at these pieces here, these, um, these bolts and finding how corroded they were and this was um, without a doubt the least corroded. I was also looking for original boots. Um, these appear to be original. They also appear to be original uh, ends. Obviously you can see here they're stuffed. Um, and the other thing is playing with this, the amount of, whoa, boy oh boy, that's a lot of play on the, um, on the inner arm in there. You don't want that much play. So I've got new versions of these anyway. So, um, Try not to get too much stuff in my hands, but yeah, um, this is what we actually wanted the whole time. So we will we'll see. Um, yeah, that's um, I'm pretty pleased with that actually. We'll see. Okay. Um, oh, and so the whole point of this one, obviously, as well, was to um, because I was concerned that the rack that was um, uh, that was in here was moving. Um, and the other thing will come in a tick what I'm also oh so that one there 100 bucks that's um oh, oh, the other thing was like I want to get some of these parts now whilst I can whilst they're still in wreckers whilst they're cheap um because these things are just becoming well you know all skyline bits are getting hellishly hellishly expensive um what we've got here is oh excellent Shit, that's in pretty decent nick. Um, exciting. Okay, um, lower control arm. So the ones that are currently in the car are chopped. Um, they've been cut here and they've been extended by about two centimeters, which gives you better um, steering angle um, and extends the wheelbase a bit, which is cool, but uh, hmm. it's not exactly ideal for um, for when you're on the road 
Um, so I'm looking to get new ball joints, but that looks to be in pretty nice condition. I might even be able to get away with that. We'll see. Um, and then the other idea was then, of course, to replace these, um, uh, which are the lower control arm bush. So we'll think about that. Um, but when I change them, because the current ones are extended, then there's a few other things that are going to have to change along with it. So that's front suspension. That feels like the other side, so left. What we've also got is, sorry about my camera work. Um, geez, it's bigger in person, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Uh, this is, oh good, all right, I'll just go with the one set. Um, here we have the rear lower suspension arms. So you have lower control arm, ball joint, two inner bushes, one there and one here. Um, and then these are the two tension rods. I can't remember exactly um, what these two are called, but two more suspension arms there. Um, you can see in here we're going to have worn rubber bushes, which I will, um, yeah, I mean, we can just assume they're worn, can't we? Um, so I'll be looking to replace those and the idea with these is to clean up um, at, well basically the whole um, uh, suspension feel of the car um, by updating all the bushes so why did I go off and buy um, you know entirely new arms or another set of the exact same arms that are already in the car uh, just for ease of, um, of install and for getting these bushes in I can have the other ones off the car um, or I can, um, uh, you know, just un uh, unbolt them and then bolt these ones straight back in and sell the other ones. Uh, these front, uh, sorry, on left and right, um, the set of three and the other set was, um, uh, how much was it? 70 bucks. <laughs> um, so $70 for those. Um, the uh, control arms, front control arms, uh, left and right, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, I mean, you know. You're laughing at those dollars, really. Like, for $70, for the convenience, um, that's worth it any freaking day of the week. So, that's why I did those. Um, so, I'll be going through and doing them. And the other ones on that side there. So, I'll look at those a little bit closer in a bit. But they all look to be really good parts. Um, and cheap. I mean, oh, that's that steering rack is in... What looks to be really, 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 really good nick. I'm quite happy about that. It almost looks like it's in surprising, like too good a nick. So I'm wondering if something's been done to it, you know, maybe it's been then reconditioned or I don't know. Um, anyway, let's get to the next one. Oh, I need my coffee. Okay. So next up, Dixon. This is the, the most interesting part for the immediate term. So this is, and you, you know where it's come from. Um, turns out, what's the name of that uh, American Courier company uh, that was in Lost or what, no, um, it's not that Tom Hanks film. Um, you know the one I mean. Anyway, they're really, really quick. These have come ridiculously quickly. So what we've got in here is um, uh, engine mounts. Um, so this is Volvo stuff. Uh, this is one of the engine mounts that sits at the front. They're really weird looking things, but if you look at um, European cars, they actually all kind of look like this. Um, so we've got uh, two engine mounts, front and rear, um, because the Volvo has vibrations in the steering at the moment. So. Um, we will have to have a bit of fun lifting up the engine, Dixon. Um, but I've got confidence in our abilities. And you've got one other engine mount here. Uh, there's a video online. It talks about uh, sort of jacking up the engine a little bit. A uh, bit of wood underneath it. A uh, couple of bolts slipping these things in and out. Um, gee, look at that. That's kind of... Anyway. Um, yeah, apparently um, not too difficult. Uh, and no wheel alignments or anything like that needed. So good outcome um, oh, these are 
washers to sit on top of the springs. I've already got uh, the other bits. You can imagine what the other stuff is in here. Uh, here we have, oh, we gotta, we gotta look, look at it, don't we? Eh. Um, we'll just take one of them out. Uh, this is definitely gonna be a rear. Yep, there we go. Uh, cool. That's a rear shock. Very good. Um, oh, we don't need those. Um, yep, so Dixon, this has already arrived. We're going straight into it, I guess. Um, very exciting, see how that goes. Um, and then in here, oh yeah, let's open it up, why not? Dad, you're gonna wanna see this, surely. Um, here we have, oh, hang on, sorry. How do I open you? There we go, that will do. Um, yeah, front shock, yeah, that's interesting. I would've thought that'd be um, held down, but apparently not. Um, and I don't know what that does, that's okay. Front shocks. So, yeah. Um, apparently these guys make the same one as uh, that are currently in the car, so OEM without the OEM price. Uh, let's see how that goes. Um, all right, and then we've got, oh, okay, so these are, you can see here, that's a rubber mounting thing that then sits in, in there. Um, and oh, there was something else over here, another one, and I think the final piece is, yeah. There we go. I bit the bullet. I bought it. This is a specialist um, tool that costs like 15 bucks, uh, which will, uh, yeah, it's got a single use. So maybe in um, 30 years time, Dixon, you might have a, a weird bolt that requires something like this. If you do, I got you. Um, Cool, so the next I thing I suppose is for um, for us then to, so we've got shocks, we've got engine mounts, um, and then after that, I'll show you what else is on the cards. I booked in the Volvo for, um, to go and see a, a Volvo mechanic to fix an engine leak, and he's also going to install all of this stuff. So we've got your inner and outer tie rod ends you've got um you've, you've seen this stuff before um lower control arms um basically all of the things here require a wheel alignment to be done after so um i mean this is easily within our capacity to do dixon but i just figured you know what like i need the oil leak to get done and whilst it's there i might as well just get bang bang you know in don't have to worry about dealing with um uh the wheel alignment and all that sort of jazz so i just figured for the sake of it why not get them to install it all um it's it's no skin off anyone's back to be honest so yeah we'll see how that goes you know it might cost an arm and leg but um i mean shit we're only gonna have to do it once aren't we so uh you can see here this is our old one um which was also in really good nick yeah, it just happened to not be the right um, style. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but it's different. All right. Um, sorry about the long video, um, but uh, yep, an unboxing um, of this new stuff. I'll keep you posted with what ends up happening with all this Skyline stuff. At the moment, it's all just um, extra bits sort of sitting around. So I'm collecting more junk.